How's it cooking, good looking? Today we are gonna make the easiest, cheesiest, best grilled cheese sandwich. This is one of those recipes that once you have made it once, you will keep making it for so long. And then sometimes we forget that it exists and we don't eat it for like a year. And then we realize it exists and then we crave it like every day. It's so good, it takes 10 minutes and no matter who you serve this to, they're gonna love it. For this recipe, you need very few ingredients and you can play with them as you want to. You need nice spongy toast bread, look. Oh, it's so good. I use the thicker slices because I do like bread and I'm gonna roast it up with butter. We're also gonna use a slice of Emmentaler and a slice of English cheddar, which doesn't have any color in it. That's why it's not orange. And then we're gonna have some mozzarella-like cheese. This is a um, Portuguese cheese that I use, but if you can find normal mozzarella, that's gonna give you that cheese stretch that you really like to see in a cheese sandwich. And butter, salted nice, Butter. The secret ingredients in a perfect cheese sandwich is basically love and lots of cheese. We are gonna heat up the pan and add half of our butter to the pan and wait for it to melt and scissor. Ooh, can you hear this, guys? This is ready. It's bubbling. It has this like almost like foamy texture. And we are gonna put our bread in. Just make sure that the bread can soak up all that beautiful butter because that's what's gonna make it crispy and nice. You're supposed to leave your bread alone, but I, I just can't. I get super, in what do you call it, impatient. I just really wanna eat, so I'm like, come on, get ready. It, I'm also one of those kind of people who put bread in the oven and then I will stand in front of the oven for 20 minutes until it's done. And let's cut our cheese. I'm gonna make two two slices of this. I hope this has a nice crisp now. Oh, look at that bread. Honestly, look at it. Immediately when I turn it, I'm gonna add more butter. Make sure that the butter goes underneath here so that the next side also is nice and crispy. We are gonna apply our cheese on one side. I'm gonna apply this mozzarella-like cheese on each side just because it's extra. It's not supposed to be there piece of Emmentaler and our nice cheddar cheese. This is gonna stay on the pan for about five to seven minutes, maybe a little longer. I'll see the cheese has to melt very nicely and the bread has to be super nice and crispy. I'm gonna turn down the heat to a little above medium and then I'm just gonna let it sit. Now I won't touch it. And let's go. Oh, look at this. This is what I call food porn. I mean, look, if that ain't a sexy, it looks like it's kissing you. <laughs> That's a sexy cheese sandwich. That is one crispy bread. It's golden, it's crispy. You can tell that part of the butter has soaked in, but yet you still have a little bit of the sponginess. Can we get a drum roll? And some angels. Oh my God, look at this, it keeps going, <laughs> it's greasy, it's cheesy, it's filled, look at this. <laughs> mm. What's up Laura? <laughs> <laughs> this is Jon's favorite part of filming. Oh my oh. God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Unbelievable. It has the saltiness, the crispiness, the creaminess, the cheesiness. Hi right, guys, this is the grilled cheese sandwich. That's just how it is. Hi, buddy. Oh, that's it. Mm. That's good. <gasps> ah, that's hot. Ah, that's hot. <laughs> but honestly, if this video made you hungry, leave it a thumbs up. If it made you drool, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. Let me know if you want to try this. I mean, who doesn't want to try it? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot.